Good morning, BookTube. Alan here, and uh, got me drinking tea. I'm onto a green green tea now. My favorite. I'm a coffee drinker primarily, but I like tea now and then. But and for October, not for sure. I'm, I'm using matches, and I need some candles this weekend as well. Um, Brian at Bookies just got me up this morning with a October TBR one for me. Because I think I've met all the challenges. I'm I'm not going to put all the links below, but I've, I've learned so much from these ladies. It's it's not funny, and I, I will continue to learn. It sparked real keen interest in Victorian literature for me. And my my father, who's like 76 in Arizona, real conservative, um, got me wondering, what, what's, what's the stuff you're doing on YouTube? Uh, I said, it's I feel like a ham radio operator with video in a worldwide book club. And uh, that's what I feel like. It's really cool to uh, like kind of reach out to our friends in England and 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 just learn so much and it's great. So without further ado, I'm gonna just talk, see where this goes. It's not scripted. I've <clears throat> become a huge fan of Weathering Heights. I've never read, read it before. I'm gonna buy this is my it's a library copy. I utilize my library wherever I go, whatever city. I have a collection of library cards, if I can find them, um, from different cities I've lived in over the past, like, 20, 30 years. It's not that many, but it's a, it's a, like half a dozen. Anyway, so I'll be buying a new copy of this at Powell's Bookstore, which I'll probably make a video of, too. Pretty famous bookstore in America. So, yes, and this would cover Lucy's uh, challenge of the pseudonym, because we all, I, I've learned it's, been Cara Bell, Ellis Bell, and Acton Bell, who the Brontes wrote under pseudonym, which also this would cover. I'm a big fan of this book. I need to read this another number of times with an addition uh, with notes that translate to French. There's a lot of French in this. It's not just a little word here and there, which would be no problem. Uh, and I'll be reviewing this book um, when I get to it, when I finally read it. I'm almost done, but like any good book I read, when I get to the end, I tend to slow down because I, I really, a book I enjoy, um, unless it's a thriller like Dan Brown or something, you know, like Da Vinci Code. Or, but um, so, yeah, thank you, Lucy, just for that. You know, I'm on to, turn me on to the poems. I love poem, poem poetry. You know, I'm a believer, like uh, Robert Frost, the difference between uh, free verse and hard poetry is the difference between playing tennis with or without a net. Let's see. Uh, shout out to the other American Kate, I call her Kate Howell. I mean, shout out to everybody, uh, Ange and Katie at Books and Things. I think Katie is the most... I, I don't know who I've learned the most from, but she's brilliant, you know. I, I'm i a uh, secondary source person, too, so I, I've been reading the critical essays, or critical essays on uh, Charlotte Bronte. For the, and I also have, um, uh, okay, for American Kate again, uh, with, with a, uh, a noun in the title or something. Uh, so I'm rereading out, you know, Dorian. Dorian Gray, rereading that. Looking forward to that. I think I have some time to reread that. I have Jane Eyre, then that might be TBR. See if I, I plan on getting to it because I, I plan on watching, you know, the adaptation of this one. Now, I'll be re revenant get in there. I don't know. Shout out to the Civil War. Brian, again, history. Uh, Weather Nights, Weather Nights. I, I watched the uh, Ralph Fiennes version and loved his uh, 
uh, Heathcliff really did like that. And I, I've watched the beginning of this. I know this doesn't have the second generation in it, but uh, I am enjoying Lawrence Olivier's Heathcliff too. So I'll watch that. And finally, the the only like problem uh, challenge I'm having is, of course, most uh, Katie's with the um, you know eighteen thirty seven to eighteen forty seven, the early Victorian era or the latter. And I thought I would surprise people. No one's talking about uh, Lewis Carroll and all his Alice. That's Victorian, but it doesn't fall into that challenge. Because it falls in the middle of it. Uh, uh, I think Americans think Lewis Carroll, they think of like the 1920s. Look forward to it. Everyone have a, a, a good weekend. And I'll see you soon. Solancho. Oh, how could I forget? Just like Katie brings up uh, Charles Dickens and everything, I'm going to bring up my old buddy James and everything. James Joyce, because he's on the borderline of Victorian, uh, he too. You know, Dubliners is set in 1904, so we're only talking a few years. They lived without candles. They lived, or they lived without electricity. They lived without uh, plumbing, uh, etc. So, talk to you later, Salancho. Cheers. Breathe. Yes. Gosh, oh.